Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to show you how to do this little bunny ear scarf. Remember I did the blanket with the pink bunny ears, the little double clusters? I've done this as a little scarf. I'm going to show you how to put fringes on as well. It's really easy. Now there's no stitch count for this. We've done it with loops and you make as many of the loops as you want. This one has six loops and so I've got six stripes in the scarf. If you want a shorter one, you can do four. Now I've done this as a child size. This will do maybe a three to four year old, this scarf, and it's really pretty. To make this child's scarf, I'm using this 199 b and Bargains Chunky Deluxe Spot Yarn. And it's a chunky yarn, so use the hook size it says on the pack. It makes a lovely scarf with that bunny ear design that I did the little pink blanket in. I'm going to show you how to do the same stitch as a child's scarf. I'm using a size 6 millimeter crochet hook that's a J size a J what we're going to do is we're going to do a slip knot if you can't do a slip knot then just tie the yarn onto your hook so for this scarf I'm going to chain I'm going to make my loops and I'm going to make six loops so I'm going to chain Four. That's one, two, three, and four. Wrap the yarn around your hook twice and go into the last stitch in your chain. So you have four loops on your hook. Yarn over and come through two loops. Yarn over, come through two loops and yarn over and come through two loops. Now these two stitches here are the two stitches that we'll be picking up. When I tell you to go through these two loops, it's these two here. The ones that are right at the bottom of your chain that you're going to do. We're going to chain four. One, two, three, four. Yarn over twice on your hook, wrap it twice, and go through those two stitches. Just loop through, catch those two loops, and pull your yarn through. Yarn over through two loops, yarn over through two loops, yarn over and through two loops. So I've made two of my loops for the bottom of my scarf. This is where my little pom-poms are going to dangle or your fringe is going to dangle from. Chain four, one, two, three, four. Wrap your yarn around your hook twice. Go through those two stitches at the bottom of that chain just to lock it in. Pull your yarn through. Yarn over and come through two loops. Yarn over through two loops yarn over and through two loops now i've got three so i'm going to do i'll do five or six i'll see how wide it is one two three four yarn over twice through the bottom stitches yarn over through two loops yarn over through two loops and through two loops So I've got six loops. What we're going to do now is, six is fine for a child. It's fine for an adult as well. Into this loop, put your hook through and you're going to slip stitch into this loop. And slip stitch through that loop there. And that's you inside this loop. What you're going to do now is you're going to pull that stitch up. This is going to give you a nice even edge. 
up the sides of your scarf. Put your yarn over. We're going to do two clusters with treble crochets. So yarn over your hook and go into the loop and pull through. Yarn over and come through two of the loops on your hook. Leave that stitch there and leave that loop there. Yarn over and come through again. Pull your stitch up. If you pull your stitch up, you'll get nice long stitches in your cluster and it won't be all crushed in. Yarn over and come through two loops. That's you got your two treble crochets. Now we're going to bring this into a cluster. Put your yarn over and pull through those two loops. I'm going to do another cluster. You're going to do another cluster in this loop here. So yarn over, pull up your stitch, yarn over and through two loops. That's you done your first stitch. Yarn over and through two loops. And that's your second treble crochet. Put your yarn over and come through all three loops. Chain one. And that's you done your first cluster. That's you done your first cluster. Move to the next loop. Yarn over into the loop and pull up your stitch. Remember and pull your stitch up. Through two loops. Yarn over. Do your next stitch of the cluster. That's us got our two stitches. We've got three loops. Yarn over and pull through. We're going to make the second cluster. Yarn over and pull up. You've got three loops on your hook and come through all three. Chain one and move to the next cluster. So we'll do that and it's going to give us two clusters into each loop. Yarn over. Remember pull your stitch up. Put your two treble crochets in. Keep them on your hook. Yarn over. Come through all three and do your next cluster. Yarn over, come through the three stitches. Chain one. Remember that chain one before you move to the next loop. So I'm on my last. I'm on my last cluster. One treble crochet. My second treble crochet. Come through all the loops. Do my last cluster. Make sure you pull your stitches up and through all of those loops. And that gives you your set of clusters. Now when we do the next one and they go in the middle, it forces these two apart and that's what makes the pattern look like little bunny ears. Now you can continue with your loops and make a blanket. But I'm doing a scarf with it. I had a lot of requests on to do a scarf. So when you get to the end of the row, you're going to chain one. Just to lock those stitches in. Now pull your stitch up like this and turn your work. Now you're going to do a cluster inside this cluster here. So yarn over and in and pull up your stitch. Do your treble crochet, that's one and two. Yarn over and pull through all three loops and then do your next cluster. That's one treble crochet and your second one, keeping them on the hook. Yarn over and pull through. Chain one and move to the next loop. So you'll do your two treble crochets. Keep your stitch on the hook. Yarn over through those three loops 
and do your next cluster. One, two. Yarn over through three loops. Chain one and work your way to the end. Now once you've come through your three loops, chain one, pull your stitch up and turn your work. Then you're going to do your clusters again. Two treble crochets, bring them together, then do your two treble crochets, keeping them on the hook for your cluster, and bring them together. Chain one and move to the next one. And it's when you put this second set in, it splits your little bunny ears apart and it makes it look like these pretty little bunny ears. Chain one and move to the next one. So when you're at the end, chain one, pull your stitch up and turn and do your next set. And as you can see, the set that's on the top pulls your little clusters open. So they look like little bunny ears. Pull your stitch up, yarn over and in between your loops. In between your cluster, do your next set. Chain one and move to the next one. Now I'm going to do some more rows for my little scarf, my little child scarf, and I'll come back. And already it's looking really pretty. Now you can do more loops and make a blanket like this because it's a really pretty little bunny ear blanket as well. So this is what I've got done on my child scarf with the little bunny ear stitch, these little double clusters. I'm going to put some loops on this side so it's the same as the bottom. To turn my work around and I'm going to chain four. One, two, three, four. So this chain of four is going to make the loop at this side of my scarf. In between the set of clusters, I'm going to do a slip stitch. Put your hook through, pull your yarn through, and then pull this front loop through this back loop. Just pull it through like that and that locks it in. Chain four. One, two, three, four. Move along to in between your next set and do a slip stitch. Pull one loop through the other. Chain four. One, two, three, four and slip stitch. Now into this one, we're just going to slip stitch down into the corner here. I need to pick up a little bit more than that. Go into the actual lump of stitches and pull through and that will hold your loop. Cut your yarn and pull through. So we don't waste this tail, I'm going to go into the middle of this loop and then just pull that tail through. Now I'm going to leave that there, that can become part of the fringe. 
and there you go you've got your little loops on the bottom of this side and you've got your loops on this side what we're going to do now is i'm going to show you how to put a fringe onto a scarf so it doesn't matter about that little loop now you need a pair of scissors and you need the yarn that you're going to use now just for quickness so I'm kind of going to cheat with this. This is my mobile phone. Now, I want my fringe to be about four inches long. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to really cheat here. Find the end of my yarn. I'm going to go up and down this way on my phone. And once I've folded it, it's going to give me like the four, five inches that I need. I'm going to put that end down there and I'm going to wrap the yarn, don't do it tight, just wrap the yarn around, I'll throw that down there just now, around my mobile phone. You can use a piece of cardboard, <laughs> you can use a piece of cardboard maybe about 8 inches wide and then just wrap the yarn around. This is perfect. I found this is perfect for it. Wrap it around. So I'll just snip that here, like that. I'll move that to the side. Now, turning my phone up very carefully, just slide your scissors in. I've done that carefully. Now it's not at the side where any of my wires go in. So what I'm going to do is just take that off the phone. You can just slide it right off and then cut it. I'm going to cut right up the middle of these loops. And that has given me a bundle. <laughs> it's given me a bundle of fringing. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to take three, four, five pieces of fringe and fold it in half like this. I'll zoom in just a little bit. Now take your hook and put your hook around the loop. Put your hook around your yarns and pull it through. Now you're going to grab all of those and just pull them through that loop. Put your hook back in if you've missed any. Just pull them through. There we go. And then get each little thread and give it a little pull. And that's going to tighten it in here. And you've made like a little tassel for your scarf. Now I'm going to do that to eat. You can make them longer if you want them longer. You can make it longer. We'll trim it once we've got all the loops done. Now you can put more than one on. You can put two on if you want. I'm going to see what it's like just with the one. So we've got another five. One, two, three. That's three, four, five. Keep it all the same thickness. Fold it in half. Put your hook through the next loop. And just loop through all of these. A little bit fiddly, but you'll manage it. Pull them all through the loop and then use your hook and just pull it in through there. Any that you've missed, just put your hook back in through there and catch your odd ones quick and easy. And then give these a good pull. If you're giving these to a really small child, you make sure you could even put a few stitches in there. But make sure you pull all those ends nice and tight. Just pull them all nice and tight. And that gives you your second little fringe. And that is the easiest way to put a fringe on a scarf. And then get some nice sharp scissors. 
and then you can just trim these all to the same length just like that and that is how you do a fringe like that it's so easy you can put more on if you want i'm just using five strands and you can make them any lengths that you want one more through the hoop through the loop in your scarf now if you don't have loops in your scarf you can still just push it through the bottom of your scarf and put a fringe on like that so we'll put that through and pull them all through like that catch them all up wrap it around my hook and just pull it through that loop like that and any you've missed put your hook back up through the loops and just pull those through as well and then pull it tight pull each little strand that you've got and pull it and then you can just trim it off to the same length as the other ones so i've got my little fringes done on my scarf i've done one in each loop if you want more you can put some more or even put two in each loop it's up to you if you have if you're doing a scarf and you don't have loops then you do the same thing i showed you but you can do it just in between your stitches and that is my pretty little kiddies scarf and done with that little bunny ears pattern a little double cluster it's really really pretty give this a try it comes out absolutely amazing i'm going to move my camera up a little bit and it comes out absolutely amazing look at that do any length that you want do any length and it's not a stitch count remember it's loops you can make as many loops as you want you can actually just do it with four as well you do it with five do it with six do it with more it's up to you and make it as long as you want it just make it as long as you want it for your scarf so thank you very much for watching please subscribe to my channel and if you click on the bell icon then youtube will tell you when i put up another tutorial so until the next time happy crafting and i'll see you all again soon goodbye